Hello and welcome to an episode of The Driveway and just a quick fleet update on both the Nissan and the Skoda So I'm going to start off with the Nissan So <clears throat> the Nissan has now just covered over a thousand miles in my care um, As I mentioned in my not 60 video, the only thing that went wrong with this car has just been the clutch which, has, which just had to be replaced But um, yeah, I'll just give give you a wee fleet update for now <clears throat> So the most notable change in the car is the sad boy um, placard on the side of the car that's all drivers and passenger side and just in addition a couple of YouTube channels I follow And I've also just paint, painted tyres down the bottom with some tyre paint. But not, not really a lot's been happening with this car. It's mainly just sat in the driveway since since lockdown. But I have bought myself a few wee goodies for it, so... This one here, the, the gear lever, that's my own uh, addition to the car. Um, I had that on one of my previous micros, so I just took that off and put that on this one. Um, We've also got some alloy pedals on, uh, for the clutch and the brake. I'm still yet to work on the driver's one because the one that was supplied to me didn't actually fit over the driver's pedal. Um, so I'm guessing that the facelifted J10s had a, maybe a different size of accelerator pedal. So that's about it. Oh, hold on. And yeah, we've got a bonnet bra as well for the car. I don't know if you can see that from here. Put the camera focus. And I've also done the Nissan emblem, painted that black. It's not perfect, but it's my first time using Plasti Dip, so yeah. So today we're just going to do a quick little thing that I quite like. <clears throat> so I was on Red Bubble, um, which is an independent artists and I got these reproduction OK stickers from the guy. Um, I actually found this on the Nissan Primera Owners Club Facebook page, a, a guy makes them. So I found him, found him on Redbubble so I went and purchased a couple. Now these were always the signs that this was a quality car when it was when it rolled off the production line in either Japan or Sunderland or any Japanese car probably from from when it came into the when they started importing them into the UK in the 70s, 80s and 90s, they were quite a common sight on the back back passenger windows. So I thought, why not just purchase a couple and we'll just stick them on the back passenger window. So we're going to do that now. <clears throat> so I'm planning on just sticking it in this wee gap here, just where the triangle is. So I'm just going to put the camera down for a minute and apply that. So that's the stickers applied. So I think they actually look quite smart. My plan with actually sticking them on the, at the corner where the triangle is at the quarter lights not actually worked because it was actually beginning to catch the sticker. So I'm going to have to be careful if I have to open these windows that I don't actually catch the sticker on them. But these windows are never normally open because the kids are usually in the back of this car. Show you the other one. That's the, so this is the driver's side, and that's the passenger side there. So that's quite a wee nostalgic um, thing for the cash guy because they don't don't seem to make these OK stickers now. But yeah, it's a nice, nice wee addition, subtle addition, just to say that it was built in the UK. So the Skoda, um, just been given a quick maintenance wash. Um, Gonna need another cut and polish again, colour cut and polish. Probably in the next couple of weeks I'm quite tempted to do that, but this has been this has been used quite a lot since lockdown. Um more in the cash guy, because uh, the wife takes this one. Transports the kids about she's maybe doing wee errands for people. But I just noticed today, if I can I'll pick it up. 
little focus in. There. I'm not actually sure what's happened here. It's like the car caught something that's been painted over, but I'm not entirely too sure. Or it could be the effects of tree sap. Um, I'm not entirely too sure on that one. But no, the Skoda's, the Skoda's been mega reliable. Um, hold on. <clears throat> that's a bit messy in here, but that's to be expected of the kids' stuff in here. So the Skoda has covered now 11,247 miles. Um, since we bought the car in January 2018, it's never let us down in any way. Um, the only expenses I've had in this car was the uh, we've had to replace the daytime running lights on this car. I've just replaced both of them at the same time. Um, what else have I had to replace? That's about it, really. Just just been keeping on top of like giving it a wash, trying to give it a wash every couple of weeks. Um, get a drive. I mean, it's give it a wee run from time to time, but this car's not cost us anything. Um, apart from a monthly cost of £166, which I explained in a previous video is a bit much for a car that's only maybe doing. Let's get that back on. Yeah, yeah, as I said in the previous video, it was a £166 for this car a month. Um, and we're only maybe doing about three and a half thousand miles a year in this thing. Um, no, last year we only done about three and a half thousand. Um, so I think when the car comes to its, when it's come to time, yeah, yeah, I can't speak this morning. When it's going to come to the time to change this car, probably in 2022, uh, 2022, or just before maybe. November, December 2021. I think we're just going to look for a car that's going to be a cheaper a month, um, maybe something like about 80 quid a month, 80 to 100 pound a month sort of thing. Uh, if it's an older car, it's an older car. Because um, this car, you see, we're, we're going limited to 8,000 miles on this PCP. Um, but we'll get him nowhere near it, and it just seems a bit of, bit of waste. And I think, I think when we come to the place in October, December time, 2021, we'll just look for something. We might get another Skoda again, but to be honest, it's a couple of years old, and we're just paying a smaller amount on this car, and we're not restricted to mileage like on a PCP. Um, I mean, we could investigate the thing where you could just hand the car back, um, but I'm thinking. You'll probably pay for like, I mean, this car has got a couple of wee dings uh, on it. Um, so, and I don't really want them taking money off to repair that, so I'll probably just end up trading it in for something cheaper. I mean, the prospect of having a new car is quite nice, but I think it just the initial, the initial monthly cost is for the limited miles we're doing, and we'll, we can just pay something. We can just take it like out own finance, you know, we're not limited to any mileage as such. But, you know, this, well, this car's been reliable, it's, it's, it's had two free services from supply and dealer, goes in for its MOT in January, and, that, and it's third year service. Um, not expecting anything to be wrong with this car in its, in its third year. Um, but it's, been, it's been mega reliable. Um, I've never had any issues apart from just wear and tear. Um, two new wipers and two bulbs. I'm trying to think if I've had anything else in this car, but no. That's it. But I just thought I'd give you a wee fleet update. Um, and I'll report back in a few months' time. I am planning on doing a video in this car. Um, get, plan on doing a wee quick nort to 60 in this car, just like I've done with a cash guy. Um, because I love the, I love the front of this wee three-cylinder engine and I think it'll be quite a good laugh.
just to do a wee 0 to 60 again. Um, and also, I think I've done that before on the Why I'm a Skoda fan video, but we'll do that when it will get a bit more organised on a quieter bit of road. 0 to 60, a few wee pulls. And you can hear the, the thrum of a three cylinder engine on this car. But for the moment, I shall bid you a farewell. There's a cash car again. And yeah, I shall bid you a farewell and catch you in a future video. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts TV. And until the next video, farewell.